All right, um, section one, oxyacetylene apparatus. Fundamentals, gas cutting, and welding. This is not my course. Um, section one, oxyacetylene apparatus. Before discussing how the system works, it is important to know that the name of the component that makes oxyfuel apparatus. Oxyfuel apparatus consists of two cylinders, one oxygen, one acetylene, equipped with the two regulators, pressure gauges, and the two lengths of hose, a blowtorch, and the regulators are attached to the cylinders are used to produce and maintain a uniform pressure for the gas torches. The gas is reproduced, uh, reduced pressure and conveyed to the torch by the hose of the regulator. Regulators include high pressure, low pressure gauges to indicate the contents of the cylinder, the working pressure on each hose. When the gas reaches, reaches the torch, they usually are mixed in combustion when it takes place on the welding tip fitted with the torch. All right, you have your oxalatane regulators at the top of each tank. You have an oxalatane cylinder, an oxygen cylinder, an oxalatane hose. Your and you recover from your regular oxygen cylinder to control oxalatane control valve and torches. All right, and you have your torch, oxalatane control valve, and your oxygen control valve. Oxyacetylene welding outfit. The basic equipment that used to carry out the gas welding is oxy gas cylinder in green, and oxy gas cylinder in is uh, oxalatane gas cylinder is either marine or red. Oxygen pressure regulator, oxalatane oxy pressure red regulator, and oxy gas hose. Oxygen gas hose is blue. Um, oxalatane gas hose is red. Welding torch and blowpipe at the set in the nozzle of the gas lighter. The trolleys of the transportation of oxygen and silicone cylinders set of the keys and the spanners. Fill the rods and fluxes. Protective the clothing of the welder. Asbestos apron, gloves and goggles, etc. Oxygen gas cylinders. Oxygen gas cylinders are drawn from the piece of the high strength of the steel with the plate and it's available for the common side of the 244 cubic feet for industrial plants and 122 feet, eight cubic feet for, um, and 880 cubic feet with the oxygen is stored with the cylinder and the pressure at 2200 psi with the field at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It's capable of retaining a pressure almost twice the, the field pressure. Cylinder valve, the safety knot, the outlet, the hand wheel, and the cap. To the cylinder, the oxygen valve of the cylinder is directly proportional to its so purpose. In other words, the original pressure of the fuel, uh, full oxygen cylinder drops to 10% during the welding. It means that one tenth of the cylinder contents have been consumed. Oxygen cylinders are usually painted green and are screwed right handed. Alright, oxygen cylinder valve. The oxygen cylinder valve is more la largely brass with the right handed threads. It's outlet with a threaded machine to comply with the standards set by the Compressed Gas Association, American National Standard Institute, ANSI. Um, all oxygen regulators sold by the U.S. and Canada for the use, uh, for use of industrial oxygen cylinders carry with a, ma a mating inlet, the nut, and a nipple. The connection is designed with the CGA or Compressed Grass Association 540 for the oxygen cylinder valve is equipped with a bursting with a bursting disc, which will rupture with re will rupture release or connections with the cylinder if the cylinder pressure should approach a cylinder test pressure, as it might in case of a fire. In order to protect the cylinder valve from getting damaged, a removable steel cap is screwed at the on the cylinder at all times, but the cylinder is not in use. The cylinder valve is kept on the cylinder and is not used for the even when the cylinder is empty. Caution: The valve shall never be left exposed. It always, it all, it must always have the regulator attached on or the cap on. If the valve must be open all the way when it, the valve must be open all the way when in use. Our silicone gas cylinders. A silicone cylinder is, all, is used in a solid drawn steel cylinder of common size of 300 or 220 to 75 cubic feet. Cylinder pressure is, is 250 psi when filled. The silicone cylinder is painted maroon. The valves are uh, screwed in left hand. The grooved hex head or nut inch or shank. This shows the cap in the valve and the fuse plugs. The silicone is extremely unstable if it is pure with if it is pure form of pressure above 50 p, 15 psi. The unstable place the special requirements for storage of silicone. Silicone cylinders are packed in purest materials: balsa wood, charcoal, corn pith, Portland cement. This is saturated acetone to allow the safe storage of silicone. The pork. And porous filler materials in the prevention of the high pressure gas pockets forming the cylinder. A silicone colorless flammable liquid in the, in, added with the cylinder until the about 40% of the purest metal is saturated. A silicone and liquid chemical this dissolve large portion of silicone under pressure without charging the nature of the gas and is liquid capable of absorbing 25 times its own vacuum of the silicone gas is normal pressure. Become, being liquid, a acetone can be drawn from the acetylene, 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 acetylene cylinder when it is not upright um how 
there are two very important things to remember about dissolved acetane cylinders. First, acetane cylinders should always be stored in the upright position to prevent acetone from escaping and causing the acetane to become unstable. Second, the compressed ga gas association G1 calls the withdrawal rate did not exceed one-tenth of the capacity of the cylinder per hour during the intermittent use. The full for withdrawal of the contents of the cylinder of the continuous base flow rate should not be more than one-fifteenth of the capacity of the cylinder per hour. If the acetone is withdrawn too rapidly, quite low of the acetone may come within and vapor droplet form. The cylinder may cool down so much that it cannot sustain high rate the high rate. This will affect the torch, your torch flame, and will be, mean that the supplier must replenish the acetone in the cylinder more frequently. Many acetone cylinder valves are not equipped with hand wheels and must be operated by a wrench. The wrench should always be left in place while the cylinder valve is open and acetone cylinders should not be open to one third to one quarter of a turn when using. All right, your pressure regulator. In an oxygen cylinder, there is a pre precise relationship between cylinder pressure and cylinder contents. A standard oxygen cylinder that contains 244 cubic feet at 220, 2200 psi at 700 degrees Fahrenheit will contain 122 cubic feet with the pressure at dropped at 1100 psi at 700 degrees Fahrenheit. In the contrast, the acetylene cylinder will not... Um, Precisely, ha uh, precisely half full with the pressure drop as the half. Note that the change in temperature will affect with the pressure of the silicon cylinder at as much as faster than rate than it affects the pressure of the oxygen cylinder. The pressure in an oxygen cylinder cylinder will go up and down by only about four percent to twenty degree change in the temperature of seventy degrees Fahrenheit. Full acetane cylinder will pressure at, will have the pet ha, will, which has a pressure of 250 psi at 700 degrees Fahrenheit. With that, will have a pressure of 315 at 900 degrees Fahrenheit. A pressure of 190 psi at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. You may always make a con make make. You must also take the temperature into account with the estimating how much acetane cylinder contains. All right, your safety device and silicone cylinder. A silicone cylinder is protected with a number of fuse plugs which melt at 220 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Fair, um, Celsius. These plugs melt and release the pressure in the case of the cylinder exposed to the excessive heat. Some all cylinders that are 10 cubic feet by 40 feet, 10 cubic feet in size have one fusible metal channel located in the cylinder valve. The large cylinders normally used in welding and cutting in the capacity ranging up to nearly 300 cubic feet with the acetylene have two or four plugs located on the top and the bottom of the cylinder and the cylinder is exposed into a fire. One or more safety devices will melt and allow the acetylene and acetone to escape. Burn gradually and if, do, if it do not if it did not have a safety device, the fuel acetane cylinder exposed to the fire would rupture and release its contents at once and per perhaps per perhaps explosively. The silicone cylinders are equipped with fusible metal safety plugs and not ruptured discs and safety devices in an oxygen nitrogen gas cylinder. Do not, do not adjust, alter, or change build or any extreme work on cylinders, regulator, torches, or any other gas equipment. Do not lift cylinders by the caps or valves. Do not transportate the cylinder without a cap in place. Cylinders must be stored upright position. Keep the valves closed on empty cylinders. Make sure that the cylinders are regularly tested using hydrostatic, non-destructive equipment while in the service. Cylinder testing, trans cylinder transportation. Never transport cylinders without safety device, safety caps placed. When the fuel oxygen should be fastened securely upright to the post or portable cart, the oxygen tank is extremely dangerous for the reason where the oxygen is at a pressure of 3,000 psi. When full, if the tank falls over, a valve strikes something and knocks it off, the tank would effectively become extremely deadly flying missile prop hill with the compressed oxygen. Never transport the regulators in place. Never allow the... Uh, Never allow bottles to stand freely. Allow the chains of them to secure the cart and some other object cannot be toppled easily. All right, your manifold system gas welding. With a great deal of oxygen, welding and cutting is done with the using of the ga gas supplied by the single part pair of cylinders. The main situation with the considerable gas welding is done, and in several places where the rate of the consumption is higher, and it must be advantageous to the manifold to use a manifold system. A manifold system, instead of having gas cylinders at each place for the work, they well they are assembled in one centralized position in special design track, connected by a manifold. The gas is distributed by means of pipelines in different workplaces. The manifold distributes well 
scalding gas and to reproduce pressure reduces pressure. There are separate manifolds we have for oxygen and acetylene gas supplies. The oxygen manifold simply defers the from the oxygen from the acetylene manifold in the following which ways. There is no anti flashback device in an oxygen manifold. Two oxygen supplies a copper pipe with the acetylene supply line to this to is a steel pipe. The oxygen pressure regulator is used in the oxygen manifold system. Advantage in using manifolds. Since some gas cylinders have and has not have not been scattered throughout the work area, rather they have been kept at a central place. The possibility of accidents is reduced more because space is available to each of the workplace. In case one of the each of the re, easily re, uh, reach the cylinder, cylinders are transported less distance. There are no replacement cylinders inside the workshop. Acetylene, oxygen and acetylene pressure regulators. The pressure gas obtained with the cylinders considered the higher, to, uh, higher than pressure gas pressure operated with the welding towards the purpose of the using the gas pressure regulator is to reduce the high pressure for the gas cylinder to suitable working pressure and to produce a steady flow of the gas under the verifying cylinder pressure. Pressure regulators connect with the cylinder generator and the hose leading with the welding torch. Desired pressure at the welding torch may be somewhere between 330, sorry, 35 psi gallon oxygen or 30, 15 psi a gallon uh, acetylene cylinder and cylinders and cylinder cylinder pressure maximum on the gauge and working pressure and maximum on the gauge oxygen has a, a cylinder pressure of 2200 psi max on the gauge is 4000 psi working pressure from 1 to 35 psi maximum on the gauge 150 psi Acetylene 250 um, psi in the cylinder pressure, maximum gauge pressure 40, 400 psi, working pressure 1 to 12 psi, and um, 30 psi max on the gauge. Pressure regulator is fitted in two pressure gauges, one incident with the gas pressure of the cylinder, the other reduces the pressure in which the gas is going out. A gas pressure regulator may be, clo may be classified as a single-stage regulator or two-stage regulator. A single-stage regulator reduction of the pressure of the cylinder pressure to welding takes place in the single stage. The single-stage regulator is actually needed for both oxygen re regulation and acetylene regulation oxygen welding. However, a single-stage step regulator tends to freeze in the cold weather. This is because of the sole um, sudden expo expo expansion resulting dropping in initial pre pressure causes the rapid cooling of the gas involved the moist moisture present in the gas, thus the result of the information from I, form, formation of ice near the regulation nozzle, which causes the irregular se seating of the seat of the nozzle and therefore substitution, uh, therefore substitute substantially pressure f um, fluctuations. Principle of pressure reduction: two stage regulators equal exactly the same in one in a stage regulator, but, but, but here the pressure reduces the two stage instead of one or using two diaphragms and two control valves, so that the pressure reduction ratio is less ab ab abrupt. Good regulators are essential to ensure the even flow of the gas with the blowpipe. The acetylene regulators are constructed more sensitive to the oxygen regulators to take care of low pressure gases. The acetylene regulators can be interchanged with the oxygen regulators, for which they will not stand the pressure demanding in the first place. In the second, the small quantity of the acetylene gas left in the regulator, the oxygen included, introduced from the inflammable mixture, would be formed with a not advisable account with the flow of explosiveness. In many instances, oxygen regulators are put out of the copper diagrams. Where there another no, whether whereas no, another metal may be used the acetylene regulator, because the acetylene gas attacks copper, usually German silver and rubber diaphragms, if used um, on the kind of low pressure used with the charging of the cylinders. Low pressure gauges are used in acetylene regulators. Uh, the difference between oxygen and acetylene pressure regulators. Acetylene regulator the cylinder in, so the cylinder and hose connections are le uh, have been left-handed threads on the acetylene regulator. Oxygen regulator the right-handed threads are in this case the oxygen acetylene regulator. Acetylene connect connection nuts have been chamfers and grooves cut in them. Oxygen regulators nuts are plain with no chamfer or grooves. Acetylene regulator color band on the acetylene regulator is maroon or red. Oxygen regulator if the, is either blue or black. On the oxygen regulator. Acetylene regulator. The inlet of the high pressure gauge of the regulator reads up to 8 bar. Um, the inlet of the high pressure gauge on the regulator reads up to 100 bar of oxygen regulator. Acetylene regulator. The outlet and low pressure gauge of the regulator reads up to 1 bar. And the oxygen regulator, the outlet from low pressure gauge reads up to 4.8 bars. Cost to never use oxygen and fuel, or fuel, ga fuel gas for cylinder except through the approved pressure reducing regulator. 
Never attempt to use a regulator except with the gas services for which it was designed. Generally speaking, the inlet connection is installed with the regulator manufacturer mismatching and impossible. However, they cannot always be in case with it, since there was just enough of mechanically distinct um, the same connection to permit each of the gas the individual treatment. Therefore, some of the gas, for example, an air gas and certain fuel gas are treated with the group of the propane regulator within the fit of the acetylene for cylinders but should not be used. Oil and other petroleum gadgets must never be used with the oxygen regulators because the products will either case, in either case cause a regulator explosion of the fire. All right, your gases and hose clamps. The hose clamp is to make the connections between the torch and regulators must be strong, non-porous light with the flexible um, enough to make the torch movement easy. The most common type of the cutting of the welding in, the, in this tin, twin double housing consisting of the fuel house oxygen joint together and side to side. Size determined with the inside diameter of the proper side that they use depends on the type of the work in which it is intended. Hoses used in light work it has either three and three once. 33 to 1, 3 sixteenths of 1 quarter inch inside diameter, one or two piles of fabric. The heavy duty welding cutting operations use the hose with the inside diameter of 5 sixteenths and 3 to 5 pile pl plies of fabric. Signal ho sing single hosing available for the standard size at 1 half, 3 quarters inch, and 1 inch size is the large size of the heavy duty heating for using the large cutting machines. Rubber flexible hose. Oxygen hoses are green in color and have red head right hand right, right hand thread. Silicone hoses are red in color and are left and hand threaded. The nut of the acetylene connection has a, a notch and runs around the central distinguishing from the nut and the oxygen connection. This is all this is all a safety precaution to prevent hoses from being hooked up the wrong way. All right, some precautions are being taken when they're using the reinforced rubber hoses. One, only one gas should be used in, the, in, used in a hose. For example, the using an oxygen hose carrying a silo tank could, could cause a serious incident. Hosing should never be patched or repaired. Hot metal should never be placed on the hose. The length of a hose used is important, but the delivery pressure of the torch verifies the length of the hose. At 20 feet, 3 sixteenths of an inch hose may be an adequate job, but if the same hose is 50 feet long, the pressure drop would result in insufficient gas flow to the torch. Longer hoses require larger inside diameters to ensure the correct flow of the gas to the torch. When you're having the problem welding or cutting this air, one air to check. Hose clamps. The metal clamp is used to attach a welding hose to the nipple, but there are basically two types of connections that can be made. The first is using a jubilee clip. The second option is a crimp connector. The section option properly safely safer um, harder and harder and the second option is probably safer and harder for this type of the connection to come loose the uh, the hoses should also be clipped to clip, clip, clip together in intervals approximately three feet to get apart all right this shows the ch jubilee clip and the crimped crimp, crimped connector all right, your check, check valve. The check valve um, valve is glass with one direction position with the torch and the with the regular outlet. The purpose of the check valve is to prevent the flame of the oxygen mixture being pushed into the cylinder, causing backfire, flashback, and explosion. A backfire is caused backfire a backfire is caused by flaming going out suddenly on the torch, and a backfire may occur when a tip again touched against the workpiece. The flame setting is too low. The tip is dirty and damaged or loose. The tip is overheated. When the torch backfires, it causes a flashback. A flashback is the condition in which the flame burns inside the tip of the torch or the, on the hose. The flashback can cause the improper mixture of the gas, which increases the rate of the flame propagation to such extent with the flame of the flashback mixture chamber. If it is not snapped, the flame will ignite the mixture and will travel backwards from the torch along the hoses through the regulator into the cylinder. To prevent such an occurrence, the flame arrestor should be installed. The flashback arrestor, not to be confused with a check valve, prevents the shock wave of the downstream coming back up in the hose entering the, the cylinder possibly rupturing it if there are quantities of fuel oxygen mixture inside part of the equipment specifically the mixture and the blowpipe nozzle that may explode and if the equipment is incorrect should the down and the acetylene to decompose in excessive pressure of the temperature the flashback arrestor will be remain and switched off until someone resets it all right um Refer to Section 4 Safety Working Practices and so on, and so illustrating sa 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 case study of safety incidences in the UK. Combination check valve, flash valve, back valves can be placed in the torture regulator. Alright, the welding torch and blowpipe.
Welding torch makes oxygen and silicon with the desired proper proportions because of the mixture at the end of the tip provides the means of moving the direction of the flame. There are two types of welding torches, namely high pressure, equal pressure type, or low pressure injector type. The high pressure blow pipe, blow pipes and torches or torches are used to dissolve the silicon stored in the cylinder with a pressure of 117 psi. Low pressure blow pipes are designed for the silicon obtained by the silicon generator at a pressure of 8 inches head of water, approximately 0 0.3 psi. <laughs> in the high pressure blow towards the most oxygen and silicon are fed with the equal pressure of the gas and mixed with the mixture chamber prior to the being fed to the nozzle tip. The high pressure torch also causes the equal pro um, pressure of the torch is most commonly used because it's lighter and simpler. It does not need an injector. The operational less trouble so that it does not suffer the backfires. Um, f suffer from it does not suffer from backfires to the same ex same extent. All right, this shows you the welding tip of the a torch, a welding tip of the mi mixing chamber, your silicon oxygen control, your oxygen and con silicon connection. Change the power of the welding torch is not necessarily change the nozzle tip and size, increase the decrease in the gas pressure properly. The real tip will the oxygen and silicon welding pressure in the, is the flame, not the torch. When you cut in the oxygen cutting, when it's m what must be considered poor oxygen, just a second tool working in hand of the hand flame to produce the open flame. When using a welding torch fitted with the appropriate size welding tip or the header tip, to produce both flames and oxygen jet, they use the cutting of the torch cutting attachment equipped with the appropriate cutting nozzle or tip. Welding nozzles and tips. Welding nozzle and tips of the portion of the torch will it's located at the end of the torch containing the opening of the where the oxygen and silicon gas mixture passes the fire to the ignition combustion depending on the use of the design of the welding torch and interchange or interchangeable nozzles may consist of either a set of two tips of the screws on which the head of the of the blowpipe, a set of gooseneck exten gooseneck extensions fitting directly into the mixture of the portion of the blowpipe. A welding nozzle enables the welder to guide the flame indirectly in the maximum ease and efficiency following the factors are important selection of appropriate welding nozzle. The position of the weld, the um, type of the joint, the joint thickness for the side of the welding is required for the job. No alloy is to be welded. To provide different amounts of the heat the, to the um, metal, the different thickness of the welding the tips are made with the various size of the size of the welding tips determined on the diamond or opening of the orifice of the tip. As the orifice increases, the greater amount of the welding gases pass through then are burnt with a surely greater amount of heat. The choice of the proper type of the size is important for the good welding for the welding thicker the material, larger size tip of the juice with some some apply more combustible gas, more heat with the charter giving size of the tip of the welding, various thickness metal along with the oxygen and silicone pressure used generally to provide Provided with a manufacturer. Care of welding tips. All welding tips are made of copper that may be damaged carelessly. Careless handling nozzles should never be dropped and used in moving and holding the work. Nozzle seats and threads should be absolutely free from foreign material in order to prevent scoring of the tightening and assembly. Or, or nozzle orifices should be clean. Should only be cleaned with the tip cleaners and should be designed for the purpose. Fill or metals. Alright, your filler metals are usually um, supply additional material to the pool, assisting the filling of the gap of the groove that forms an integral part of the weld. Filler rods have same or nearly the same chemical composition, composition of the basic metal and are available to a variety of the composition. For welding different different materials and sizes, the consumable filler rods may be bare. They may be coated with flux. The purpose of flux is to retard the oxidization of the surface of the part of the weld. This is by generating gaseous shield around the weld zone. The flux also helps to solve and to remove oxides and other substances. For more pieces such as contribute to the, the formation of the stronger joint, the slag develops and protects the molten metal fuel puddles for the metal against the oxidization and cools. Characteristic with good flux, the metal melting point of the flux must be lower than either, either metal, metal, metal oxide so that they will be liquid. The ideal flux has exactly the right fluidity, fluidity when the welding temperature has been reached. The flux will protect the molten metal from the atmosphere oxidation. Such fluxes will remain closed to the weld and are instead of flowing all over the base metal in some of the distances of the weld. 
your composition of flux. Flux are different composition according to metals which were there to be in, in cast iron well the flag form and surface of the, of the puddle of the flux serves to break and this up. Each part of the carbonated soda, bicarbonate soda make a good compound for this purpose. non furious metals used in requiring flux. Com copper requires filler rods containing enough phosphorus to produce metal when free from the oxides. Borax with, which has been melted and poured in often used in the flux of the copper alloy. It's a good flux is required with aluminum because of the tendency of the heavy flag formed with the mix of melted aluminum weaken, weaken the weld. For aluminum welding, is customary to dissolve flux water applied to the tip of the rod. After welding aluminum, all traces and fluxes shall be removed. Gas lighter. A gas spark lighter provides a convenient, safe, and inexpensive means for the lighting of the torch. The mo match sticks should never be used for this purpose because it is put, put, put off the flame produced by the ignition and solitane flaming from the tips is likely to burn the welder's hand and spark lighters are constructed with a flint and steel. A gas cylinder trolley. A trolley should be capable of accommodating one cylinder gas and one exilitane cylinder is required with a gas cylinder. Normally, cylinders can normally be mounted on the torch side with the side when working with the done and planning the excess and narrow gangway, gang, gangways has, been, has an advantage. Trolleys may be rubber have may have tr rubber tires, steel rim wheels. The gas cylinder are put, held in place in the chains and supported on the bottom of the steel platform. Goggles. They are used in the protect their eyes for the operating with a harmful um, heat, the radiation, infrared, ultraviolet produced the during the weld. An apron and globules and safety goggles. The molten metal depends on the pop and splatter as the heat is applied with the oxygen reacts to the superheated metal. It is critical that the operator use the oxygen silicone welding cutting process as well as proper gloves using appropriate safety goggles and face, field, face shield. The goggles and face shield protect the eyes from sparks and flaming hot metals per particles. The goggles and face shield use a special lens to protect the eyes from light damage. The very variety of lenses is depending on the type of the welding and cutting that needs to be done. The type of the material, the thickness of the material, and if a protective eye shield is not used, painful burns can occur on the surface of the eye and it could result in permanent damage. 2. Oxyacilitane welding.